Hi, Amanda. Hi. I think I remember talking to you. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. So, well, thank you for chatting with me again. Of course. But, and the first thing I have to talk about is the Steve video. Yeah, uh, it was pretty powerful, right? I have to bring up the Steve video, and basically, I want all the details. Did <laughs> you, you know? cry? Did you cry? I well, I didn't watch Blue's Clues till later on. I know I'm older though. I'm old. <laughs> so, <laughs> my kids watch it later on. But um, I didn't cry. But that was one thing. Were you surprised by the reaction? And, you know, whose idea was it? Yeah, you know, It was all I, Steve. It was. Yep. Yep. We had the privilege and honor of he's been working on the reboot and writing and directing along with Donovan, Pat and Joe. Um, and he came on board for the 25th anniversary to help direct these promos and all the social media. And yeah, he... And it's such, it is, it's such a testament to seeing what we did with the music video for the 25 years. It's like celebrating that time that, connection. that they had mm -hmm. together, right? And keeping that, you know, keeping that legacy going and just who he is and who he continues to be for kids. Mm -hmm. And so that was just beautiful in and of itself. That was just ridiculous. And, and I cried. Um, but <laughs> to see everybody's response to that, yeah, it's how been I, like a gift that keeps on giving. Yes. Us. Yep. It re certainly resonated. We knew it would be impactful. I don't think we knew it would be that impactful. Well, because it's so intimate in the sense of like, he's talking to me, but the mm -hmm. fact that everybody feels that way. Yeah. yeah. And I do think, you know, everybody wants to hear those kind words. The world is in a crazy place right now. So it was just so comforting. It was like putting on a warm blankie and slippers and hot chocolate, like Steve was saying, you know, acknowledging <laughs> me and saying hi, and now I look good and I worked hard. It's now you're going to make powerful. me cry. <laughs> now you're going to make me cry. It's been such a crazy time in and of itself. So it's just been like, we all need that. And then knowing that Josh is the one leading the kids into the future is just couldn't be more perfect as an authentic, genuine, talented, genuine, loving human being <laughs> person. And then knowing that he's, gonna, you know, he's already had the same effect on kids. is just you have mentioned when uh, my last question, you know, the kids going through a difficult time now and, and things like that um, with everything going on in the world and especially yeah. a lot being isolation and things. Yeah. I just wanted to know how, you know, uh, important was it for you to, you know, reach out to those kids and even address some of the issues maybe going on now? so important right and so the the thing with us is that um we're incorporating it into scripts for the new season um and beautiful like really beautiful mm -hmm. episodes that we're really trying to touch on um some of the things that kids are going through and it takes a little bit of time before it gets out in the world but so some of the the youtube some of the clips that we're able to do with nickelodeon right. um, has been able to address some of it yeah with, with josh having, having play dates when the core team first hit they did some play dates with Josh just when he was in his apartment and just kind of in a white background, you know, very, mm -hmm. but he had like play dates with them just to kind of be uh -huh. there with them and something new and addressing what was going on. And, you know, you can do hard things. Oh, I love it. Mask, yeah. mask too. <laughs> now yeah. I want to know yeah. those details. <laughs> I know. Well, you oh, can get okay. your Blues Clues masks. <laughs> uh, look, he had to make an appearance. Ah! <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> And he actually dropped this little blues clues dot guy. So I was like, oh. Noah, he's um, actually my nephew from uh, New Orleans, the hurricane. They're wow. evacuees, okay. one of my evacuees. So oh, <laughs> being Hi, safe Noah. with Ann Amanda. <laughs> well, my question, you talked about your favorite show, but I kind of want to know, you know, 25 years, a long time. Do you have each have like a favorite memory that stands out? from the 25 years of doing this? Still the first for me. I uh, took 4,000 pictures on my first shoot because <laughs> right? it was just like- <laughs> The making, yeah, the pilot the creating come it. True, right? Mm -hmm. And just then, and then again, the first of seeing it on TV was just like a whole other thing. And then seeing people around the block to meet Steve um, in New York City in the rain, it was just like ridiculous at, at FAO Schwartz. Yeah, and I would say also the, um, the friends and the family that you make of, you know, oh, of yeah. the show and not just Angela, but all of our producers and writers and animators and composers and this family that you're building and all around creating something good for the world that just continues to grow. And then 
those people grow up and now you know the people on the original show have their own shows and writing their own stories mm -hmm. and it's it's yeah. just beautiful to feel like we've created something that is just expanding out into the world it's and true. doing good. It's true. We feel like we're running the family business. Yeah. Know, it's the family <laughs> store and everyone feels that level of family throughout yeah. it. And yeah, yeah, those are the friends, best friend forever. It took me a long time uh, not to cry when we talked about it because it's the, it is, the bond is strong and you see it in all the videos. Yeah, and it's, you know, the social media is, you know, as much as sometimes I hate social media, how wonderful it is, like when it's your birthday or your 25th anniversary, uh -huh. all the love that you get and the, those connections of a lot of the woodwork and like, I had my first job on Blue's Clue. And that's the so thing, we're getting great. so many beautiful responses to see his video, but also the 25th anniversary has spurred all of the people that have worked on the show are writing about and their experiences. Thank you. And it's just mm -hmm. like, oh my God. <laughs> Do you have your blue? No. <laughs> well, it's definitely made an impact on so many lives. So something to thank be proud you. of, definitely. Wow, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, I know Angela has a, um, a little uh, bias for Josh, it seems, right? <laughs> <laughs> she loves the guitar and Broadway. I think I mean, Broadway was actually her dream too, right? I love Josh too. I, I mean, he's uh, definitely, I hope he's around a while, but I was just thinking, you know, in the future, have you ever thought about having like a female host or? We have, mm -hmm. absolutely. And we auditioned female and male hosts for, for the role mm -hmm. um, all, all the times, you know, every time we went out there, to be honest with you. And so we're constantly thinking about about that and who we could, you know, and we were bringing them, bringing more live action onto the yeah. set and, and yes, making sure our... that. We're very, all about female empowerment. Yeah, we have female uh, firefighter Frankie will be coming. We have our um, deaf librarian. Um, what did we name her? I'm blanking on. Uh, so many um, um, characters that are just, is that what you're, so. No, 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 I was thinking of, it's not Camilla. No, it is Camilla. Is it Camilla? <laughs> <laughs> our librarian is coming on. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long day, um, but you know, they're from the gut go with female empowerment with blue being mm -hmm. female and all the color blue with no bows and no eyelashes. Yes. But I know Josh won you over. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you. When you see him singing and dancing in New York City on the street. Have you interviewed him yet? Because I have. I have. He's yeah. amazing. Me and my daughter actually, because she was so we interviewed them and she was like, Well, I'm a Steve fan. He's the OG, you know? And then she interviewed Josh and she was like, Oh, she, he won her over. He did. <laughs> like, all right. Gotcha. No, we Thanks. love them all, each in their own way, just like kids. <laughs>